Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing a couple things, updates, what I'm working on and what is to be expected. So there is quite a bit of a few interesting things actually that I'm actually working on. So let's get started. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've developed an open hardware flight controller. It's an F4 flight controller and I've released the basic skeleton. So you can build your own with just a 3.3 volt regulator, MPU 6000 gyro, USB and the, obviously my controller unit which is this guy. Now I've designed the PCB, I've released it to the public, I've even built it, and I flew it the other day, which flew superb. I punched the living crap out of it and it was just still flying beautifully. So it just needs a little bit of a tune and I will tune that eventually. It was just a really cold ass day. Now, you guys want five volt regulator on board also and OSD and ta-da, it's finished. However, I haven't released it or really mentioned that much about it just yet. Because like I say, I don't want to release the public until the thing has been tested and it works. So this is what I'm going to start doing right now after this video is building the version 2 of it, which has an OSD 5 volt regulator also on board. So it's going to be really good. Now, also, this V2 has 4 millimeter mounting holes, which you'll see very soon. This is in order to accommodate rubber grommets because many of you asked for that and that is actually the smart thing to do. And I did that here. Now, after this test beautifully it actually works what is the next step the next step is the f7 this is where i need your input f7 basic skeleton first like we did with this one um obviously i'll release the v2 everything schematic in the pcb design once i test it um after that the f7 i'm gonna start on the f7 i'll do all the hard for a uh, hard work for you guys um should i release it with the mpu 6000 gyro or the icm 2060 2 gyro which is the sensitive gyro so just the basic skeleton obviously i'll make more than one revision but what do you guys think what is your input on that what should i do first obviously i'll also do a dual gyro version of the f7 which will be in a later step also with osd but as a first basic skeleton schematic f7 3.3 volt regulator and uh, just basically just kind of like this one, you know, the first one ever, just to basic, just to see if it's working, then we start adding everything else we need basically to it. So let me know what you guys think on that. Also, if you guys really want to support this project and this channel and everything that it's going to be doing, please consider picking up one of these drone mesh drone finders. They are on Banggood and they are in stock and they'll ship very soon. And um, yeah, that'd be super awesome. And they're really useful. Actually, I have been using, I used it today, twice today, actually I had to use it twice. I was playing with a little micro. So yeah, if you could pick this up, it's really awesome. And it just does a lot of awesome, cool things. And it really supports the channel. So, and it's a kit. So yeah, that's really cool. All right. So that's one thing. All right. Um, future projects. Now let's, let's do the drone related stuff first. Cause I also have a couple ideas that are quite interesting. And I think they could be useful to drones in a way that I don't know just how yet, but I think they can be. So let's do the drone things. Um, so the first project is, it has to do with FR Sky modules. Like, what do you mean? Well, you might say, okay, what, what, what about them? So for example, we have the R9M module, which everybody's using or just about everybody's starting to use, especially myself, that's all I've been using lately. What I wanna do is I wanna create a dock for it. So you get your R9M module, which connects to your FR Sky or whatever. And then you, you, I'm going to create a little dock for it. It connects in and it has 18650 batteries and uh, some kind of a circuit inside of it. So you can actually take this whole thing and maybe put it on top of your car. And inside of your car, you put the other half of the module inside your transmitter. And it can work two ways, wirelessly and wired. Wirelessly will introduce some latency. To what extent, I can't answer that just yet, but I don't think by much. But I mean, if you're flying not super aggressively hardcore, I don't think that um, you'll even notice the latency. But that is something I want to do. It's actually more I want to do for myself and uh, I want to do it as a project. And if you guys are interested, then we can make it into a product or a DIY kit, a nice DIY kit that's fairly well priced or just an absolute finished project product. There we go. That's the word product. So let me know what you guys think about that idea. Also, many of you have said you wanted to see this as a full DIY kit. Now, I did start my research and start asking and trying to get everything done. And what I can do, now Banggood is interested, but there's no point if they're interested and you're not interested because then nobody would buy it and there's no point in that. Um, but what I have came up with is I think I'm able to create these as kits. It's still too early for a really good price, hopefully below 10 bucks, I think, or at least below 15 bucks, but 
but you probably get two of these. But there is a little catch. I will not be incorporating two components, so it'll be missing two components. The microcontroller unit, which is the F4, and the gyro. So basically this makes it as a, we could say, bring back to life flight controller kit. So if you ruin the flight controller, you don't know what the hell's wrong with your flight controller. Just remove the MPU 6000 gyro from it and the... Uh, and the what is it called the 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 microcontroller unit the F4 and plug it in and this will have everything else that you need in it and it'll be for a really good price I'm gonna try to put two in the kit or just at least just one in the kit and be really great priced um, which can introduce you into software and then you know once you have this and you actually build it you're gonna be very curious to take a look at the schematic too and the PCB design and then it might you know someday just um, what is it called motivate you to go try and mess around with it and maybe make your own. Um, which is also something really nice, actually. You know, you're like, okay, so I built this, it worked. Then maybe I could try to figure out how what's wrong with it. Or if it ever burns for some reason, which I highly doubt it will be. It's so basic and it's um, it's just, it's really nice. It's so simple that I don't I don't think anything will burn on unless you short circuit something really bad. Even the LDO that I use has some sort of short circuit protection and even over overheating protection so yeah so that's something pretty interesting so let me know what you guys think of that would you guys be interested in those kits if you are let me know down in the comment section so i can start on those as soon as possible obviously all these things that you guys want does help support the channel and keep these projects going and i do have quite a lot more projects actually coming on the way so it's going to be really interesting like i mentioned i have the v2 with the osd and the four millimeter holes so i'm going to be building that right after this video um so there's a couple other things also there's a lot of weird good kind of stuff being released lately if you've been watching my posts um i think they're good so uh finally we got the uh battery discharger we got a real like portable tiny discharger that's coming that just came out i'll have a link down below if you haven't seen it it can either kill your batteries it, that's its function kill it that means drop it down to zero volts so it can make it safe for you to throw away not safe for you to throw in a dumpster but it's safer for you to throw away somewhere uh, so it won't catch fire or store it, or if you don't trust it, you can do that. So that's really nice. And the other side has the discharger part, which you can set to whatever voltage you want. So it has one side to completely drain the battery, and it has one side to discharge the battery. That is a really, really nice, well-thought-out product. I picked up, I think, 10 of them, and I'm waiting for them to come to actually start testing them, because I really need those, and those are very useful. Now, something other than drone-related. Let's just go into wings a little bit. Now, I want to build my own wing. I mean, I've, I've didn't done builds, but they're just basically the product is already made and I just added iNav and cameras and just some of the basic stuff. But I really want to make one, but not just any one. I want to make a small one, like a really small one with like, you know, the, the, the you know, like a brushless one of these like on here. What size is this guy? Like a brushless 0603 motor. You might say, why the hell would you want to do such a thing? Well, because I have an idea because, you know, I really want to make it as small as possible, but I also want to be able to control it and not just tuck it and just let it fly. I think that'd be stupid. I mean, for myself, but I want to be able to control it. But servos are just huge. They're going to be bigger than that airplane. And I want to create a mechanism which controls the flaps or ailerons or elevators or, or the ailerons that is not um, that is run by basically magnets and a flexible PCB. Now, I've seen a couple of videos online, which actually, you know, I was, I was searching flexible PCBs, to be honest, because I want to do something with flexible PCBs. I already have one project, but I never really showed it. Um, but I wanted to do something else. And then I came across a YouTube video of this guy who made a basically a flexible FPV uh, actuator, which is you put like, it's just a flexible PCB. You put a magnet and you pass current through it and then it just, you know, makes it repel or get close. So it's really nice in that perspective. But to harness that mechanism in order to control uh, the flaps or the ailerons or the elevators of such a tiny model, I think would be really interesting. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I, I just don't know, but I want to do it. I want to at least get started on something. Now, first I was thinking of making the whole flap, you know, the part that goes like this on a plane, uh, just a flexible PCB and have a magnet up here and a magnet down here. So, you know, depends on what how much current or what type of current you pass through, it does this. But, you know, to have a magnet down here and a magnet up here isn't really, isn't really good, actually. It's just going to increase weight and it's not really useful. But if we make the mechanism somewhere inside the plane, for you know the, the motion of 
uh, repelling and attracting to kind of pull some kind of a string or some kind of a metal rod in order to make the flaps, you know, move on the airplane, I think would be really interesting. I haven't really thought about it. And actually, I've been thinking about it, but I really haven't got a really clear image just yet. Uh, maybe I just need a couple things in front of me just to, you know, just to touch and just to look at and see what, what I can do. There is someone who's done something like that. But it's completely different than what I want to do. Um, I don't even know if they use flexible PCBs, but they use some sort of actuator, which is, I don't know, they just have this like weird hinge that is like covering the tail like this. And then that like, I don't know, it's just really complicated. But um, we'd, I don't want something super complicated like that. I want to make it as simple as possible because simplicity is just beauty. I just thought I'd like to share that with you guys. Maybe I, some of you might find that interesting. Um, what else do we have? We have a couple of things. I do. I'm do. I'm still doing a lot more repair videos. So if you're into that stuff, I'll be. Do, you'll be seeing a lot more of that. I also did the basic PCB design, so you can actually grab my schematic of the F4 and actually go make your own PCB. Hopefully, um, it's just a puzzle. That's all it is. I did all the hard work, a hard part, and hard work for you. So all you gotta do is just pick and place the stuff, and then have it done, and then just put your components on there. Um, and yeah, you have 10 of these, so you can, you know, fuck up if you want, it's fine, you just get another one. Uh, so it's really nice, and, um, after this video, I can't wait to get started on this thing here. And, um, well, that's currently it, guys. So, yeah, any support goes an absolute long way, uh, to keep this channel going, also these projects and these, these crazy things that I'm working on. And, um, yeah, any support goes an absolute long way, you can support the channel many ways, you can use the links down below. You could also purchase one of these, that'd be great. They're also in kit form. Um, and let me know what you guys think about the DIY kits here. Um, I'm really trying to get them like for a really good price, like possibly f below 15 bucks, you know, below 15 bucks. That's, that's my goal or try to get it way below 15 bucks for one. Um, so that'll be really, really interesting. And I mean, not one, you get two of them. So yeah, that is, that is one of my goals. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll keep you guys updated. Right now, I'm going to begin building my V2 with the 4mm mounting holes, OSD, and a 5-volt regulator. Hopefully, it works. Pray for me. If it does, I'm going to come on YouTube with a video where I'm just, like, overly excited because, obviously, I was very happy that it actually worked. So, I'm really curious if this thing is going to work or not. So, wish me luck. And um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.